Hello guys, my name is Mogse and let's keep talking about trade runs. So let's say you are a new player and you should hit level 50. So in order to do that you finish your quest and you have your farm wagon that has a that, that is a four slot card and you choose to start the game. So the way you need you want to do your goal your little income and your goal is by level up leveling up your commerce. But you don't want to spend resources on making it because you don't have a land, uh, there's a lot of things you don't have in the early game that will come later but you wanna keep, wanna start doing this. So what you wanna do is you wanna scavenge other people's pack. So you go to Marianople Community Center or on your website, I don't know the community center on the website you pick up the packs that people left behind I have two packs here one local, one speciality that has some gold income and you wanna scavenge uh, not all the places but the someone you want to do it is for example, right now you can go to Sinister Community Center, there will be some packs on the floor for sure. And if you go to Dewstone on the Community Center, there is a short trade room, there will be packs on the floor. On uh, Chukro is the same, when Cinder Stone is in peace, you can pick the Chukro Community Centers and turn in. And Halciona has a really, really hot spot because the west sides do do packs here too so you go to the community center and you pick up those to pack that people left behind and you should run it you should straight run it brain dead run and that's it though those are the place you wanna look look up first it will be Lilith Kills, Houston, Marianople and Cinderstone then you can do the far away, far farthest away one. First one, there's the risk of the zone, of the complex zone and the war zone. Sandy is way too far. You, I don't know, recommend to scanage this bit, this pack unless you have a boat. But if you just start the game, you just don't have it, so you don't do it. Animar is really, really, really fucking far, so. You don't want to do this. Besides, there's a lot of packs there. Sometimes there's 20, 25 packs there on the floor. Um, you can run it, but they are really, really far. Why are is a really good spot. You can run this one too. If there's people that left in the floor, for example, here for this two. I see one pack when I do the last video. Little head has no pack. But in play here we got two packs. So overall. If you check all this spot, I don't know, maybe every 4-5 or five hours, I don't know, you just log in, check the spot, there's nothing, you log out, and let's say it will be, I don't know, an extra five, six, 500 gold a day, if you should, if you should start the game, there's a lot of gold. So, what you... What do you want to do with this gold? You want to save it and you want to buy 1000 credits. Why? Because you need to create your car. So, if I go here and put one on, you see, you have this one. This one is a uh, four packs and the speed on this farm wagon is roughly I don't know four or five move speed it's really slow but if you want to craft it to howler you need seven 
multi wagon upgrade ticket. This ticket costs 100 credit each, and it will be 700 for all the way to six packs. This is a really yes. This is your first upgrade. You need to go to all the gold you get. You need to go from from this to this. Need to go to this. Need, you need to improve your speed by doing your packs. Otherwise, you're gonna. So you can see when you upgrade it, the speed of the gold income increase, and you can do your own packs later. What you wanna, you don't want to waste seven individual of each one this multi one upgrade ticket because they will cost you more. Plus the three hundred extra credit you have, you use it to buy more of this because when you upgrade to the eight packs one, you need another five. So if you follow this path, you will need twelve in total. So. You put your 1000 credit, then you will two more, and you have your 8, eight pack farm howler, farm howler. And this one goes to 8, 8.5, something like that, most speed. And with this one, you can do, I don't know, 5 minutes to run for 500 gold, something like that, when you have high profit. And when you have this one, you want you still want to do the scavengers thing from other people or from other people back. For example, if I am right here, right? If I'm my uh, I see these two packs. What I what I do is I pick up these two packs, I go all the way to the Houston, and my my path from here will be to the community center in Houston and pick up those pack over there and then I go to Solar and Turin. The same way from Gionic. I go to Gionic Community Center is right here. Right, right here. It's right here. You pick up the packs. You go all the way from here. All the way here, here, here. And when you hit here and lead it you will become from the same so when you come here you come and you go to solder but instead of going to solder there is there is time on the box but that are not yours so you don't need to run it straight away so you go to the community center in Lilith here pick those packs and then you go to solder and turn in same from same from health farm you if you want to do the hard turn room from the conflict zone you go to the community center you pick those pack you cross from the Hanciona community center too and you pick those pack too and then you go into turning into room that's the way to do it it's really really easy it's free goal you can do it all day same as Wyarden you pick up in Wyarden the community center and you can choose to go to the Houston Community Center and pick up those those pack, or you or you can do Marianople Community Center and pick those pack to to turn in in Chukro. Don't run these two places as they are way too far. You don't need to run that one. So, other thing I want to talk to you about that is I don't know if there is level three, but let me check. Why are they? Why are this level one? This one is level two, level two, level one. There's some packs that are not free but really cheap to make it. There, I will show you on the folio. The name of the pack is Trade Pack. That's it. There is three places I believe you can do it. And uh, is let me check. Oh, I don't know if I can see right here. I do believe it's wire. Let me. Residential, Rosal, and tickets. No. 
community center. I don't know where they are, but they crafted right here in this machine. Here, when this is level 3, when people turn in this, the real blue salt here, you can do the tickets dealer. Uh, let me see if I can find black antique. Um, okay. there. Here. I don't know why I didn't do it. Why are there not to go? This, this two. So this one craft here is two blows of hammer, and you get the pack. That's it. It's really easy. Three gold, two blocks. This is five gold pack. You don't need any material. The Blizzard Hammer you can buy it from the general merchant. And you can run this pool, this one too. This one will not give you a lot of profit, but for the materials that you have and the resource you spend doing this, if you are new in the game and the requirement from this is that the Rank 1 becomes rank 3. On rank 3, you can craft the. This the ticket dealer coming, so you can craft the pack with this rank 3. So, not. Uh, the one has two crow, and the other one is wild. You can craft this one too. Uh, really easy, because today is Monday, it will be rank 1, but I don't know, by Wednesday maybe, Tuesday will be rank 3. And when it's rank 3, you do it on rank 3, and then a lot of profit there. So, let's say you craft, do your stuff, and you go all the way to 200k commerce. Now, what do you want to do with 200k commerce? Well, there is the really one profit that comes there. The guild packs, you run the guild packs till you run out of guildas. Why? Because each guilda pack will give you more money than the guilda itself. Let's say, let's say we want a merchant shooter, right? We want a merchant shooter. This one is 3k gold and it cost, I believe it's 500 guildas. So, if you pick up the calculator right here, so 500 gives that are divided by two, 250 packs. If you do an average of 250 packs from, I don't know, let's say some place where it's reset all the time. Let's say we do Halciona to two crow, right? It's a 70 gold pack. Let's say they pay us, I don't know, 61 gold each. It's really low, it's less than 100% profit, but it's really, really low, it's really average. Let's say, if I multiply the 250 pack plus 61, that is 15k.250 gold, that is. I can buy if I divide it by 3,000, I can do 5 merchant tuner design. So, as I say, do not waste your guildas in your designs. You do not waste your guildas in your design. You waste your guildas in your packs. Okay? Let's say you really hit the jackpot and you craft all your packs give you 75 gold each if you do 250 pro plus 75 there's 18,000 gold there's a lot of gold and i have a guy on my channel that you can pick up your gildas all day and you can do 60 to 100 gildas a day maybe more because there's a lot more quests 
that come into the game through the actualizations and through the upgrades of the game so it really easy so if you view, if you make i don't know 70 guilders a day we divide by that by two that's 35 guilders a day and you multiply that by 75 that is 2.6 cargo each day so you want to make sure you spend your guildas in your packs and do not spend your guildas in your designs okay so that's it for the next video so it will be more coming because trade and commerce are way too big to do it in one only video so i hope you like it and i see you next time